Hello YouTube. Today uh, we're over here by the westbound 210 west of uh, La Tunia Canyon and we have a, a utility truck that went over. Uh, the cat says a thousand feet but it's not. I got my range finder on it and it was uh, 475. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you where it, uh, it went through. You can see the, the skid marks on the freeway. Lost control, busted through right uh, the, the guardrail. Obviously you can see it's coned off. And let's see if I can show you where it's at. Down there. White utility truck. It's supposed to be a Ford, but when I get down there I'll see it. Looks like, looks like it's an old uh, service road right there. So uh, I shouldn't need any of my repair, repel gear to get down there. I know DJI makes some uh, pretty big uh, some drones. I wish it had uh, capabilities to take all my, uh, my rigging gear down there, but it's too heavy. Anyways, that's big flipper there. There it is, guys. Hello, YouTube. We had two companies, I guess, uh, attempt it, and uh, they didn't have sufficient cable. So as you guys know, uh, Big Flipper is uh, designed specifically for uh, recoveries, and we carry a lot of equipment to bring these uh, vehicles up. So first things first, I need to get my uh, my extension to be able to to go down there. The only thing I'll be needing down there at the moment will be uh, two of my BA car straps. So obviously we'll use both of these lines because there's going to become a point where I uh, where I run out of my uh, extension. When I run out of my extension, uh, I'll go have I'll have to use uh, the other line to uh, essentially uh, finish it off once I get it close enough to uh, to the other line. For now, I don't need that. Normally, we do these on the side of the mountain, but this one just happens to be off of the off the freeway. Instead of taking the whole dragging net, I'm going to attempt to do this. I'll just connect this to the end of my winch and start pulling this down. Normally Chent is here with me, but today we're having a a monster day, and uh, they'll probably send someone else, or momentarily is just by myself right now. So it's always nice to have uh, extra help, but in this occasion we're gonna go ahead and uh, hike this down. Which actually seems kind of easy in comparison to the other ones that we get, but it is a it is a pretty good grade, and it looks like this road hasn't been serviced in a long time, so there's a lot of brush and God knows what else. Start our descent. Don't watch out for those rocks, because. Uh, as you're going down, there's a 
with the grating starts sliding down. Someone slip right there. That's what I mean. You always have to be uh, conscientious of your uh, as a lizard. Really? Hello? It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, dude. Did you want to get it? Yeah. I see uh, 400 and I got 450 here just with the extension and my uh, and my other one my uh, cable so I need to make up the difference with uh, some of my straps here So each of these are 10 feet, so I have six of them. I have an additional 60 feet. Now that I have this one, go ahead and drag it down.
All right. All right. Now it's time for the the climb back up. Everything's already rigged up. Got my extensions on there. Now it's time to uh, winch up as soon as I get up there. 40 degree incline. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just gonna keep eyes on the on the unit right here as I start winching in. See, it's uh, uh, slowly coming in. As you see, the, the, the truck is uh, going in line with, uh, with the rotator. So momentarily right now, the, the truck will be up on the road. As you see the line there, that's where it's pretty much headed. So it's almost there. It's almost out of that little thick, uh, thick area. And with a thick uh, brush, once I release tension on, the, on my green line of the winch, I'll go ahead and drag my, uh, my red line and hook it up just to uh, to finish it off. I'm almost at the end, about another 15 feet. All right, so it looks like the tension is is going down. I mean, the the truck is going down as I as I let go. I'm gonna have to go with my red cable as is. Just, just to show you how far we brought it up. Traveled all this distance down here. Well, from that point right there where you see where that uh, drain pipe is. You see how we dragged it all the way up. Pretty much where big flippers right there. Then we got a uh, 150 feet left. So just to give you an aerial, aerial aerial view. Sorry, my mouth is parched. It's hot out here. That's pretty much where it went through. Went all the way down there. Launched it. Big flippers right there, right at the, at the last leg. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my other line up and start uh, pulling it up.
as you can see the the line of action is going towards the road so uh, in just a few moments uh, the truck should jump onto the, the little service road there and uh, start going up it's close to uh, five o'clock now but it's hot especially out here it's it's, it's really hot Believe it or not guys, I have to hook it up a third time just to give you a sense of how long, how, how deep that uh, the truck was. I have to get rid of my, my other extension and basically uh, hook this one up. has some tension in it so I have to put this uh, wooden block right here so when it release tension at least it grabs something to bite from my last extension the winch cable and get rid of this extension actually I clear this out of the way because when I winch it I'll swing it over here so I can start uh, hooking it up and bring it over this little ledge
that's the last leg so let's start winching as I'm rotating I'm changing the angle my line angle so I can just bring it up the road There it is. gentlemen right there now what I'm gonna do is uh, lift it up and swing it and place it here so uh, Chente can go ahead and grab it or whoever's coming for it in case it starts wants to start rolling back
CHP standing by. So uh, right there where the truck is at, I'm going to have uh, my flatbed back up to it and extend this bed out so I can lower it. I don't think he'll be able to drag it up since the drive line is sticking out. As I was swinging, it hit the little ledge there, so it kind of moved it around. But Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Right? When I got home and I was telling my son about that. Oh yeah? So you guys do that. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, he only had a couple scratches too. Isn't that gnarly? Lucky guy. Lucky guy. I guess he had a blowout. I don't know if he hit the center divider wall, but just came right back out. And he nuts. all hard it right in through the freaking... Right to the guardrail? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm just waiting for my flatbed so you could back up right here and slide out his bed and, and load it up there. Okay. What happened? I guess he says he does. So, I mean, it's a work truck. It just happened this morning, so he has all the info already. Okay. Okay.
Ahí está, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Ya le quieres apretar? Ahí va. Who opened up all the boxes? I knew they were jammed open. Huh? They won't close. No, I know, but who, who took them? Who opened them? I don't know. Yeah, because they're all empty. I don't know. That's weird. driving empty or? No. But he went to the hospital, so. And someone else must have opened them. No, you can tell they're pried open. That's not from the accident. Weird, huh? Starting to look uncomfortable staring at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. You just put uh, it in your truck. Is that cool? Yeah, I'll yeah, take it. I appreciate it, man. Awesome. Hey, thank, thank you, you guys. Back. Appreciate it. CHP give us a 180. He's ready to go. I guess they've been here all day. They finally, uh, they called us. We finally brought it up, so. We definitely will, uh, we'll transport this, uh, this bad boy back to our yard and call it a day. Oh, little, little lizard. All right, guys, we're all set to go. Thank you, Chente! Okay. Alright guys, thank you for watching guys, peace out.